Yes, the next artist that I um, am very happy to introduce is Patricia Altschul. She's a painter who is focused uh, primarily on the figure. Patricia received her MFA from UC Davis in 1982, where she studied with Cornelia Schultz, Manuel Neri, Wayne Thiebaud, Jackie Windsor, and others. Patricia has exhibited locally and nationally, most recently at Archival Gallery in 2019, and she is now preparing for a September 2021 solo show at Barry Saccato uh, Gallery, Garo. So with that, I'd like to welcome Patricia. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited to meet you. I, I love your art. I can't believe oh. I never met before. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just really, oh my gosh. So oh, let's get started. <laughs> you, yes. I'd like to um, talk about your, to introduce uh, people who don't know your art to the figure, to um, how you got to, you know, how you uh, started to focus on the figure uh, as uh, in your paintings and your style of painting and, you know, how, how do you go about it or how, and how did you come to it? <laughs> but, you know, it was a little bit of an, uh, it, the figure came to me slightly as an accident. It, it was not the, the visual form that I anticipated myself using, mm -hmm. but, um, some years ago, I, uh, I, I think originally I, it, it sort of got started out of going through some old photographs from my parents and wanting to make records of those photographs. They were immigrants from Germany and all of that. And so I, but then, it, I mean, it, what I said to a friend of mine at the time, it's, it felt as if all these women, because my paintings are, are, are all women, yeah. started knocking on my door and just showing up, <laughs> which is be, because they're generated, it's a combination of photographs and memory that mm -hmm. I use to generate the images. So, so they do make themselves in a way. Yeah. But, um, I, I, I have to be honest, I'm sometimes still surprised that I have ended up working with the figure because in my head, I'm an abstract painter. Really? So I, so I do try within the paintings to leave their areas where I will um, try to speak to abstraction. Yeah. But, I, um, I, and, uh, yeah, I love that of your paintings and also the, the way you put down the backgrounds, the uh, kind of the texture, and then the figure seems kind of always a little isolated in the painting or just a a glimpse or a side view or it has a real strong um it, they feel really strong the paintings feel really strong when i look at them they are just so is this your latest body of work kind of the paintings that you're showing us here yes we're in my studio and um the, these are the pieces I'm work, i've been working on for the last number of months okay and um uh my uh, I have found part of my, I think my response to the virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of cake showing up in my paintings. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, you know, I, some of these figures are, are in the kitchen and... Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, but, um, yeah, just for me, the figure is a way, what I'm really trying to do is is to illustrate transient moments in time that slip through us, that we experience in moments where we, the, those times where you lose yourself in your thoughts and you go, you go somewhere else, but you're here. Yeah. And, and so my, I've been trying to illustrate those transient moments. Okay. Yeah. It's, there definitely is this, this kind of, is thread through the through your work that they all evoke the same feeling of a you know a 
models. Do you work models. with models at all? No. I don't. No. Um, I, um, I, yeah. Partly do, I, I sustained a pretty significant head injury about 20 years ago, and it's left me with real difficulty translating three dimensional space. Oh, yeah. So, I, I don't work looking at something and, and I, the translation, I, re, I require a piece of paper in the middle. Okay. Why I work from photographs or yeah. or Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's totally working. It's great. So what is, what is your process? Do you, um, do you first draw, sketch, um, talk us a little bit through the, through the process of starting a, a paint, a new painting? So, um, yes, I do. I draw first. I, um, I try out different, it, <laughs> I'll, I'll find a, a, the confirmation of a body that I'm interested in. So then I'll put a head on it, not as okay. it came with. So then I'll, I need to, I draw that. And then I often do small, there's one right here. I'll do small studies like on, okay. on her. Oh yeah, um, beautiful, yeah. And then to see if the concept I have for this image is actually going to work both, um, if, if it speaks to what, I think I'm trying to say, okay. and some of the, some of these studies never make it into paintings. Right, right. Sometimes they, you know, they just end up as finished. There's another one. Um, oh wow! Yeah, finished. they're just finished by themselves. Yeah, um, that's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> also, they. Um, I can also see. Oh, actually, this is what I'll change when I work on the large piece. So it's it's, an, it's a very old fashioned way of proceeding. Yeah, it works for you, yeah. Right. <laughs> and so then I, I will draw the piece onto the canvas. And usually, uh, I was for some years working on um, uh, canvases toned, sort of a, 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 a burnt sienna color. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I've, I've actually shifted over, and I'm working on, a white, on white canvases. Okay, that must be a, a completely different. I mean, to have a white canvas or first, you know, paint a, a color like a background or black or whatever, and then start from there. That's a whole different yes. feeling. So, um, um, has how how has you know the current situation we're in, you know, pandemic? How has that influenced your work or the way you work or? has it at all? Um. Yes, I mean, I think that I, though I, I mean, I, solitude is comfortable for me, and, mm -hmm. and I think that to actually make artwork requires a great deal of solitude, because you, there are a lot of hours you spend in the studio where right. you are not actually doing anything but being present and hoping that that thing that you're trying to achieve reveals itself. Yeah. And yeah. Not here in your studio, that can't happen. Right. But I, I, and as I said, I have found food showing up in my work in a way that it hadn't before. So <laughs> be that Interesting. right when we were all worried about flour and heat, yeah, those things were disappearing. Yeah. Um. But I think. I mean, I, I think my focus is a little uh, off because okay. I'm just. Yeah, but yeah, I, no, we all have it, yeah. But, okay, I can. Um, um, one of the, yeah, what, what keeps you motivated to, to, to keep doing your work? What keeps you motivated? What is a good instigator for you? Like, okay, or, or what is your motivator? <laughs> I think um, that it's or after all this time, this is just what you do, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to think. It's like a writer who gets up every day and writes. Mm -hmm, exactly. This is your work. This is what you do. This is yeah. what I do, and I, I, I'm, I am 
if I don't, if there are stretches of time that go by where because life intervenes and I am unable to work, I notice the absence. Yeah, you feel you have to get back to it. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's like, so it's a language which I'm accustomed now to using. Yeah, yeah. I can see that, yeah. So, um, um, Patricia, how do we, um, I know you, you have a website, right? You're online, you have a website. Yeah, that's where I saw all your, your work and your previous work and like, oh my gosh, how come I didn't know you before? Um, uh, is there any way, anywhere we can actually see the work in person or do you have any shows coming up or anything you'd like to uh, let people who are watching right now um, see where we can actually see your art in person? If, if at all, or in oh, the right. near future. Right. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm in between, I'm, I'm preparing for a show at Sakata Garo next oh, September. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll have, that, that is a year off. Um, otherwise, my work is available to look at online, and I have contact information on my website, which okay. is altruart.com and anyone can contact me and we can talk about work um, okay and this is also the way you could purchase your art if you'd like to you just you go online contact you one-on-one -on -one and okay right there i believe there are no prices posted um sizes are on those pieces okay so we'll just contact you if you're interested in a certain piece to purchase Yes, just okay. contact. Okay, got it. And so this is our first virtual open studios. You Have you done open studios before? I forgot to look at that. No, I haven't. This oh. is my, I uh, uh, was encouraged <laughs> by to, to try it this year. And so I signed up and then I signed up quite early before. This all the, happened, yeah, yeah. I, I've kind of, I'm, I'm, um, learning as I go. <laughs> well, you're very courageous to, you know, your first open studios and it's online, <laughs> virtual. Yeah. We're all learning and we're doing and, and it's, uh, it's still a way to, um, it, it is, it's actually a great way to get to know new artists. And, um, you know, there's so much information online. Um, you know, these interviews are really nice to, to get to know you and, uh, and to see some of your art. So it's, it's, it's a new way and we all have to reinvent it. But I think so far I've met some really, you know, nice new artists online and I'm excited about that. So it's, that's been good. I have no idea how we're doing on time because for some oh, reason so. I can't, I have it's a okay. watch. It's time to um, bring on the next artist. I just wanted to mention, Patricia, okay. there's some question, a question for you in the chat. So maybe once you're off camera, you could answer that from Iana. Okay. Thank, thank you. So, much. so um, Glenna, I'll let you introduce the next artist. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Very nice meeting you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. I'm, I, okay.